to another edition of The American Way. Tonight, all the president's women. An in-depth insider's look at President Kennedy's legendary extramarital love life. It was all too fast and too crazy, but uh, it was fun while it lasted. He was the most powerful man in the world, a consummate politician. He had wealth, exceptional education, a beautiful, intelligent wife, everything a man could dream about. But for John Fitzgerald Kennedy, it wasn't enough. He needed to be surrounded by and get women. All kinds of women. Why? I don't know. Tonight, we might have some answers as to the psychological roots of Kennedy's insatiable sexual appetite. We have interviewed a few of the many women the president knew intimately during his presidency. They speak candidly for the very first time. Would you like some wine with this, dear? Had special memories. I think I'm going to need Gloria, something a little you stronger. With the president. Screwdriver, grasshopper. In the summer Scotch. of 1961, I was taking a care of Tom Landau's children. <laughs> At the time, Thomas. Did you see him again after that? Yes, I saw him several times. I don't know how he managed to do it, but he came up to my room twice during that weekend. Is this woman genuine? Yes, a genuine slime bag. She wanted 20 grand for this. And? And they gave it to her. How would you describe the president? Well, I don't know. He was, uh, he was the greatest. I mean, he was, he was ahead of his time. I mean, the man was into the, the love-in thing before the hippies ever thought about it. <laughs> we will continue. Don't you find this a little bit... It's a disgusting masquerade. All those women are fakes. I hate to do this to poor old John if I really do. Next thing you know, they'll be doing a story about Queen Elizabeth's lesbian debaucheries. They'll find some Knightsbridge hookers to talk about it. Oh. I hate this goddamn business.